that shit. Oh, you go crazy. Not all right. I'm not feeling not all right. What is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back to discuss the most profitable sneak releases of March of 2020. It's already March, ladies and gentlemen. It came quicker than these L's that I took for Travis Scott. Oh my god! I don't know how they came quicker than these L's, man. And you guys saw what happened. I don't know if you have seen, but I did post it on my story that um some skate shop was caught back going crazy from New Jersey, which is where I'm from. So therefore, that's my excuse for not touching from the establishment. They're, they were caught dropping it off at Flight Club, which is insane because those were a lot of damn pairs. That looked like a whole stock of a store or maybe more. Like, it looked like a whole lot of pairs, at least two of each size. But anyways, we're not here to talk about the past. We're here to focus on the future and the top sneak releases that are coming out this month. And once again, now there's a lot, about one or two, two every release every single weekend or so. And then we have some sprinkled in throughout the week. So before I start, though, all this information will be directly taken off my premium Discord group, which is... For twenty dollars a month, you can join. As of right now, though, it is sold out. We'll be restocking this Sunday, most likely. You can follow me at Time Boy TV Plus on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated on potential restocks or potential news and success posts, like all that other stuff. So stay tuned for that. And also, if you guys want a free invite to the free Discord, which is a lot, not as much information, not even close, but it still is a good community out there. You guys can just send a screenshot. You subscribe to this channel right down here to Time Boy TV Plus. You got to follow the page though as well, and I'll send you an invite link. I'll probably be doing those tonight and. Today is Monday night. So we'll be going through a bunch of releases. We got Jordans, we got Yeezy, we got Nike, we got Off-Whites, and potentially even a Travis Scott release. So we're about to head through it all. I'm about to pop up the green screen. Oh, and by the way, before I start, we do have a free giveaway going on as well on the Instagram. I do gotta mention it real quick, because it is a big one. It is free Strange Love SBs, baby. Free Strange Love Nike SB Strange Loves. Free size nine, I think. Yeah, I want to say size nine. Yo, look at that money size, ladies and gentlemen. Money size, strange love SBs. In order to enter, you got to go to my post on my personal page at Thomas Severco and enter that. Trust me, yo, it's worth it, bro. And we might add a second winner for some Supreme Tees or something like that. Because as I said, beginning of this year, we want to give back to everybody. So I'm about to pop up the green screen and I'll catch you guys. And boom, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we got the baby up there. So first off, what I want to talk about is the Era Jordan 3 UNC, which we will have an early review for you guys hopefully posted tomorrow i was always a little bit of a how to cop guide and by the way if you guys are wondering what i'm looking at we got we got the whole entire beautiful computer sticker john out here by the way you can purchase your own sticker packs at timeboytv.com if you guys are interested just one last one last little self-promotion advertisement out there you know your boy got to pay for college somehow so we do have the Jordan 3 UNCs. As of right now, they're reselling for around 250 to 260, depending on certain sizes. This release, you should really sm focus on smaller sizes. They're coming out March 7th for a retail of $190, releasing on Nike sneakers and foot apps, as well as select other retailers. It's gonna be a pretty easy cop. It's a GR release of Jordan Retros. Nothing too, it is based on the player exclusive though, Jordan 3s, which is gonna drum up a bit amount of hype because it's basically the same thing, except the back tab is just separated with the Nike Air. Cool to see them bringing PEs into regular releases, just minor differences, but then again, I feel like it does take away from the PE value and the whole entire, uh, like, just the view of player-exclusive sneakers. Everyone just saw it, sees them, and they're like, oh, I can just might as well just get the general release that definitely is worth a lot, lot less compared to, like, $30,000 plus. The next up on March 10th, we do have the Nike and Sakai release of the LDB Waffles, which you got the triple whites and the black, the triple black with the white soles as well. So there's two different colorways coming out this time. Typically, they've been releasing them in three different colorways. We had the Barney colorway with the wolf gray and the black. Then we had before that, we had the multicolor, different material, the different colorways as well, including red and yellow, blue. Uh, and then it was the all over print of the ugly ass ones dude i didn't like the way they came out though i don't and blazers i still have the white and black colorways of not really my style the blazers at least the ldb waffles though were were crowned to be sneaker of the year by many many different sources personally i disagreed and i got caught a lot of shit for it on instagram at least on hype and j which r.i.p is gone forever and lost. It is what it is. Uh, but these will be retailing for $160. I see resale going around $300 to 350 Best colorway to focus on is the white colorway. And of course, smaller sizes will be the best way to go as well. It's definitely an automatic cop. Uh, they're doing very well. And looking if you're looking to maximize profits, once again, focus on triple white. But if you want to play it safe, I would recommend just going for both colorways. 
And then one of the main Nike SB releases of this month is the Nike SB Safari, the Dunk Lows. They were only released in New Zealand and Australian shops overseas, and now they're finally coming back to the US. They're supposed to be slated for release in January. However, they canceled that and ended up pushing back to March, and it is finally here, and your boy is very damn excited. Now, these will be considered a GR release, not a quick strike, but I expect them to fly at all skate shops. They'll be going very, very fast, and expect skate shops to begin posting release details about next, maybe this week to next week, but officially date is expected to be around the 14th of this March. So we still have about 12 to 13 days, well, 11 to 12 days until they officially do come out and typically skate shops do release them a little bit earlier. Retail is going to be around $100 and resale I do expect to go over $200 to $300. Once again, smaller sizes on this one is going to be the main way to go about it. Then on the 14th, we have the beautiful looking Jordan, the Nike Dunk Low, not Jordan, but Nike Dunk Low Syracuse, aka the Orange Blaze is officially the official colorway, Orange Blaze. Uh, it'll be retailing for $100. It is officially loaded up on Nike sneakers as well. Uh, this is based off the OG colorways of the Nike Dunk. Not SB. Remember, this is different because the tongue is different as well as a few minor details. But the main difference is the fat tongue is no longer there. Uh, but this is style CU1726-101. Uh, this is definitely a sell. You could, I would recommend selling it right now. Re right now, resells around $350. The uh, reason being is because it's such it's like OG classic uh, silhouette and colorway at the same time. Like You cannot go wrong with this. Orange, eh, not really my forte personally, but definitely does match that orange beanie that everyone still think thinks is in trend you know it is what it is sometimes uh but it's gonna be available at nike sneakers as well as some high-end retailers such as sns kith and all that same type of uh establishments out there now matching that on the 14th we also do have the nike uh dunk low varsity varsity royal kentucky and this will be retailing for the same amount. It's part of the same release process. It's the same exact sneaker. If you guys aren't familiar, it's the same Dunk Low silhouette, except it's coming out in the Varsity Royal colorway, which is entitled Kentucky because of the uh, college, the University of Kentucky. And this was actually gifted to the, uh, I forgot, the Kentucky basketball uh, uh, co head coach. He was gifted a pair of these. I forgot his name, but that's when I first saw these pop up. As of right now, resale is not available on Cock of X, but it is available on GOAT. And on GOAT, they are going for around $300 plus as well. And I expect them to stay steady. Both of these shoes around $250 to $200. But eventually, over time, like it'll be a decent amount of hope, but they will go up just like the Biotex, just like the damn uh, plums, just like all that slowly and slowly been going up. 14th, I want to tell you the 14th is a massive, massive weekend. On the 14th, we also do have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Zoom White Racers. They did previous, previously release the black colorway of the same exact silhouette and sneaker. However, this time they're coming back with the white colorway. And I think this one is going to do a little bit better. It'll be retailing for $175. As of right now, it resells around $275 to $300. And bigger sizes are, are a bit less. It's another not a good, it's not a good cop in my opinion. It's going to be a tad bit of a brick you could call it a brick but not really you're still going to make some profit on smaller sizes but bigger sizes are just going to be another easy pass at the end of the day it's going to be available on nike sneakers foot apps and other select retailers uh it's a sell i don't see this being a good hold either like typically we've seen jordan ones from past years go up exponentially over time but as of right now lately a lot of jordan ones just not it we had the pine green blacks like as of this year no jordan ones have been hot none I'm trying to think none Jordan 1 highs, at least. None. None really. Like, that's just how it is. And unfortunately, as people say, fashion just repeats itself and it's a cycle. Right now, SBs are hot. A few years ago, SBs were not hot at all. And it's just a cycle that eventually would just keep moving on and on eventually until something comes and disrupts it, such as off-white V-Loan. I'm playing. Next up on the 14th, we do have the Adidas EZ Boost 350 Desert Sage. This will be retailing for $220 on March 14th. Identically, almost damn near identical to the Marsh. When I first saw images of the Marsh, I know somebody accidentally got a package of the Marsh instead of, well, got picked, got an, he accidentally received the Desert Sages instead of the Marsh when the Marshes did release online. And I thought they were identical, but he ended up bringing them to round two and they were completely different sneakers. And I know round two already actually had some pairs, just a little quick side note. I did see them in person and I thought they were the exact shoe. They look damn near identical. Just a little bit of the tints along the upper is just a bit, bit different. But other than that though, it looks damn near the same. Once again, I just repeated colorway, just like how they repeated the blacks are coming out with cinders later this month as well. A lot of the shit is just a repeat cycle of colorways. And actually going into that on the 21st, we do have the 350 Zin 350 Yeezy Boost Cinder. 
This is once again, almost the exact same as the triple blacks. Only thing that's different is the bottom of the sneaker, AKA the sole does have a gum sole. I, well, almost a gum. It's a dark, dark tint sole. To dark tint gr uh, gum. Not official gum bottom, by the way. And it's going to be available on Adidas and Easy Supply, as well as expected to be a few select retailers, including Foot Locker and all that stuff. Like, Foot Apps will most likely get them limited amounts, but we'll be getting them. And do I don't expect this to disrupt the current triple black V2 market. Like some people are expecting, I expect this to be its own separate thing. Maybe Triple Black will get a little bit more hype around it because another release, a new colorway may jump up a bit more hype. But if this does stay re relatively cheap on the resale market, more people may end up just going for this shoe instead of the Triple Black V2s because of the fact they are so damn near the same. And if you guys don't know, just a quick little side note, the, the V2 Triple Black market has been skyrocketing upwards. Exactly what I told you guys to do. Hold it. I copped a hell of a pair of people were like, oh, brick, brick, brick. And I was like... Man, I don't think so. And they did end up going up over time. And even if you sold out to, if you sold before, like Panic sold a week before release, you're looking back at it a little bit with some shame. But also along with the Cinder, we do also have the Cinder Reflective colorway coming out, which is basically the same, literally identical, except it does have reflective material on the sneaker, making it much more sought after. Clearly a lot, lot more people want it if it's reflective. And this would, this I would say, if you're gonna cover the reflective pair is to sell now. Market on the reflective pair isn't what it used to be. A lot of people don't attach hype to it as time progresses on. People kind of just fall off and move on. But for the regular release pair, I would say it's a very good uh, purchase, to a very good sneaker to get for consignment as well. And a quick little side note, we have the 380 Yeezy Mist releasing on the 25th as well, four days after the senders. But as of right now, no official images of this are available and they're not really loaded up anywhere else. So this is still a tentative date. And so is the senders. That's a tentative date as well, a potentiality. But confirmed for the 26th, we do have the Nike Kobe 5 Pro Tro Lakers colorway. And, you know, it's sad because once again... Kobe did pass away in a very tragic way and the resale market kind of just exploded after that happened with the Kobe's pairs were selling out insane everywhere you couldn't even cop a pair for a resale market everything was just off the market not available these will be retailing for $180 I expect them to be available at Nike sneakers and I hope they really really try to limit the way this release does go down I hope they don't I mean I know Nike's smart in the way they're marketing because they have to be very careful with this release because they already had this shit pre-planned before that all happened and they can't just sit on what, like maybe 30,000 pairs of shoes, like if not more. They're, they can't just sit on them and move on. Like it has to be sold. That's a lot, a lot of money. So I do expect to retail for $180. Resale right now is over $400 and I expect it to stay that way uh, because it's the Lakers colorways. It's iconic. It has the icy sole. It's the Kobe 5 Pro Trust. It's going to be an automatic copy. If you're going for resale, I don't, I don't. I just don't recommend it because it's not like appropriate, you know, have some respect, pay some homage to the legend and don't, but of course the resale market's going to be there. So if you're going for the flip life, there you go, you know, knock yourself out if you want to do that. But then on the 28th, we have the Air Jordan 5 Red Silver Tongue, which we're retailing for $200, available on Nike sneakers, foot apps, and select retailers. This is what I consider to be a brick, probably maybe $10 to $15 profit per pair. But after that, it's just going to pretty much be sitting on site. And I could see eventually it going on sale, maybe, but that's still, once again, a long shot at the end of the day because it's a Jordan 5 Red Silver. And this is just, it's a classic shoe. It's paying homage once again to an OG colorway. But um, it's just something I'm not a fan of no more, especially this type of five, like an all white five. But you know, if you sprinkle a little bit of off white on it, your boy might be a huge fan. It's just how it is, you know. That's how we come in 2020, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much just about it. Once again, I am looking at my computer. I apologize if I was looking down so much, but that's the Jordan Five. And one other sneaker release we do have is the Fear of God Strings, and we do have the New Balance Aim. Uh, Aim Leondor, something like that. I, I hate that shoe though because I caught the last pair. I tried to cancel because it ended up being a massive brick and I got the wrong size. I wanted a six size six in car and I'm giving me a five size five at checkout. And I was like, whatever. I moved on. I moved on. I still have that pair available, by the way. If you guys want to shop timeboytv.com. And that's pretty much it for this month that is confirmed. Now, streetwear wise, we do have a bunch of other stuff. We also have Nike Supreme Air Force Ones coming out this Thursday, which will be part of the Supreme video. But FYI, that's also coming out this month. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this upcoming sneaker release. I hope I gave you guys enough info. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now I'm going to go spend two hours editing this video. Once again, I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it so much. Support your boy with the likes and comments down below. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.